and new parliament renewed nari shakti indeed as a historic women's reservation bill has been passed in both houses of parliament uh, in late night action the rajya sabha also passed uh, the women's reservation bill with complete unanimity zero abstentions and zero noes um, the, in fact when jagdeep dhankar was announcing uh, the women's reservation bill being passed he also went clause by clause so that clause by clause amendment was also taken up in rajya sabha but the prime minister called it a defining moment this as women mps as you can see in those visuals greeted him as well uh, when he came out of parliament uh, you can see binakshi lekhi smriti rani all women mps present there of course there was sloganeering inside parliament as well there were laddus uh, flowers bouquets as uh, the historic legislation has been passed something that has been pending in parliament for the past 13 years it was first uh, introduced in 96 by devagoda and then in 2008 reintroduced by the upa government in 2010 it was passed in rajya sabha but was pending in lok sabha and now it was a modi government that had the political will and intent to get the bill passed in both houses of parliament grand celebrations have been planned uh, today as well at the bjp headquarters women mps are expected to receive and also uh, honor ceremonially the prime minister who will be arriving at the bjp headquarters but let's listen in to how this panned out in that late night action in rajya sabha yesterday honorable members subject to correction eyes 215 nose zero abstention zero the motion is adopted by a majority of the total membership of the house and by a majority of not less than 2/3 of the members of the house present and voting a historic achievement congratulations so a historic achievement there that will change indian polity forever of course there are many challenges that need to be ironed out as far as its implementation is concerned the delimitation exercise continues to be a big challenge but the fact is that this amendment has been enshrined in the constitution and this moment has been etched in history of course the prime minister tweeted as well he said it's a defining moment in our nation's democratic journey congratulations to 140 crore indians he also thanked all rajya sabha mps for supporting the bill and for championing the cause of the women's reservation legislation he said that we are ushering in an era of women led development and stronger women representation well amit shah also interestingly tweeted that where there is a will there's a way this as for years you know uh, the criticism has been there that there's been no political intent to get the women's reservation bill passed but amit shah saying that a historic milestone was achieved today on the path of equitable governance the, as rajya sabha has passed the women's reservation bill of course reactions have already started coming in the opposition um, of course applauding the move but also asking for quota within quota and immediate implementation of the bill as well here are all the reactions that came in आपकी प्रधानमंत्री से मुलाकात हुई हाँ, क्या बात हुई प्रणाम किया नमस्कार दिया हाँ। हम लोगों ने अपनी ओर से बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं और बधाई और स्वागत किया कि आपने महिलाओं के लिए शुरू से उन्होंने जब से 2014 से सरकार बनी देश के महिलाओं के लिए निरंतर काम किया और वो काम करके दिखाया जो किसी ने नहीं किया आज तक महिला आरक्षण ला करके महिलाओं के अधिकारों को उन्होंने लोकसभा विधानसभा में पहुँचाने का काम कर रहा है अधिकार दे करके हम लोग अपनी शुभकामनाएं और बधाई दे दिया प्रधानमंत्री ने भी कुछ कहा आप लोगों से नहीं नहीं प्रधानमंत्री ने तो जो काम करके आ, दिखाया करके दिखा उसके लिए हमने उनको अभिनंदन करने के लिए वहाँ खड़े रहे मोदी जी ने तैतीस टका अनामत महिलाओं को दिया अभी से लोकसभा और विधानसभाओं में महिला प्रतिनिधित्व करेगी जैसे स्थानिक स्वराज्य का चुनाव में महिला जो काम कर रही ऐसे अभी लोकसभा और विधानसभा में काम करे महिलाओं के लिए बहुत खुशी का दिन है जो गणेश चतुर्थी के दिन वो नारी शक्ति वंदन विधेयक बिल लाए गए और कल लोकसभा में और राज्यसभा में पास किया तो देश की महिलाओं बहुत बहुत मोदी जी को शुभकामनाएं देती है अभिनंदन हमसे बात करने के लिए शुक्रिया संसद भवन से हिमाचल शेखर
मेरे साथ कांग्रेस की वरिष्ठ नेता राज्यसभा सांसद रंजीत रंजन है एक ऐतिहासिक दिन महिलाओं के लिए देखिए यह हम सब महिलाओं के लिए हिंदुस्तान की महिलाओं के लिए एक ऐतिहासिक दिन है बहुत सारे समाज में ऐसी जनप्रतिनिधि है जिनको मौका नहीं मिलता है आने का लेकिन वो समाज के लिए बहुत अच्छा कर सकती है अनफॉर्चुनेट है कि हम चाहते थे कि ओबीसी महिलाओं का अलग से प्रावधान हो और ये महिला आरक्षण 2024 में ही लागू हो जो नहीं लगता होगा क्योंकि उन्होंने अमेंडमेंट को फेलियर किया पर हम चाहते हैं कि दो का जो उन्होंने उम्मीद जगाई है दोनों सदनों से हम लोगों ने फुल मेजोरिटी से पास किया है ये महिलाओं का विश्वास है और इस पे अगर सरकार खरी उतरती है हम सब उम्मीद करते हैं कि दो में जब हम इस सदन में आए तो तैतीस प्रतिशत अपने रिजर्वेशन के अधिकार के साथ आए and our senior colleague sunil prabhu is with us sunil sir as we were discussing last night as well you know there are many challenges that need to be sort of details that need to be ironed out but the fact is that this amendment has now been enshrined in the constitution and that's what uh, makes it so historic of course uh, as you were also saying politics is for another day but uh, the fact is that the women's reservation bill has seen the light of day after quite a journey after almost being uh, you know after pending for almost 13 years in parliament that's right uh, actually uh, 27 years uh, to be precise uh, and uh, it's not yet enshrined in the constitution we have to wait for uh, president uh, murmu to uh, actually give her signature which hopefully uh, the file will be sent uh, uh, today depending on the prime minister schedule they will send it to the president and once the president signs uh, then it will be officially gazetted and it will be uh, uh, you know uh, uh, put uh, once the signature comes then it, uh, the official announcement is made so that's when it gets enshrined so that's the technicality uh, but definitely both houses have uh, uh, give a unanimous uh, and a two third majority uh, it's been a bipartisan support it's been a long journey as you rightly said uh, and it's in that backdrop uh, that while political credit now will become the focus uh, the the truth is that uh, this has been a long journey uh, political credit has to be given to prime minister narendra modi uh, for bringing and uh, passing this one constitutional amendment with bipartisan support in the new parliament uh, in a record two days Uh, so th that's uh, something which is quite uh, uh, exceptional uh, given the fact that uh, in 2010 uh, we had to have marshals uh, to remove uh, rjd and sp members who were protesting against women's reservation today uh, the mindset has changed uh, yes there are issues as you rightly pointed out in terms of rolling out uh, when will the uh, census data be published when will the, first of all the census has to start uh, once that's done Uh, then that delimitation process the act has to be brought and then a quasi judicial uh, process has to be done there are concerns for south india uh, that would would they uh, lose out uh, because they have been uh, adhering to family planning so these are all issues which need to be uh, taken into account and it's a long road ahead uh, but whenever it did, does get implemented it's a big step forward for the women's movement for women leaders and uh, you know um, uh, many who have uh, uh, been waiting Uh, for political representation of uh, women